Hi kids. I'm not in my kitchen today, am I? I decided to come into church to our large group room. I don't know about you, but I am really starting to miss people that I haven't seen in a while. It can be hard to not be around people that you care about. Today we're going to hear a story about a man who had a sickness called leprosy. Leprosy is kind of like the coronavirus in that people are afraid to catch it. And so this man couldn't be around his family or his friends. But Jesus helped him. And Jesus' power can help us too when we're lonely. Before we get started though, you need to collect your supplies for today. You ready? Of course, you're going to need your thankfulness journal and something to write with. You're also going to need a tape measure or a yardstick. Then you're going to need a clear container about one third full of water. And if it is a, if it has a tight fitting lid, that's good too. If not, if you don't have anything like this, you can just use a clear glass like this and a spoon. All right. And lastly, you're going to need some oil. Doesn't matter what kind. And if you want to put it in a smaller container so you don't have to have the whole bottle with you, that might be a good idea too. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video while you go and collect your supplies. I also want to take a minute to talk about our God sightings for this week. How did you see God at work? This week, I saw my first butterfly outside in the garden. So I'll pause the video and talk about that. You know, with, even with all those good things, there is still some hard stuff too. I wonder, what's been the hardest thing for you during the coronavirus situation? For me, it was walking into this room and seeing all those empty chairs. Wow, I miss you guys. So right now, pause the video and share with your family what's been the hardest thing for you about the coronavirus situation. One of the hardest things for people right now is not being able to see their extended family or their friends. For me, right now, I really miss my grandkids. Donovan, Allison, Taven, Bannon, Dawson. Ah, how about you? Right now, I'm going to have you pause the video and share with your family the name of one person that you're really missing right now. Go ahead and pause. Being separated from the people that we love can make us feel very lonely. But Jesus' power helps us when we're lonely. Let's hear how Jesus' power helped a man in the Bible who was probably very lonely. Now, back in Bible times, there was a disease called leprosy. Okay, And if you got it, you'd often get painful sores all over your body. Okay. There was no cure, and sometimes people who got it would, would die, or they would lose fingers and toes. Ooh. As you can imagine, people were afraid to catch this disease. Kind of like people are afraid to get the coronavirus right now. What are some things that we are supposed to do to avoid catching the coronavirus? I want you to pause the video and list as many of those things as you can think of. Do that right now. So one thing we're supposed to do is wash our hands really well. And what I've been doing is I've been humming the happy birthday song through twice. So do this with me. Let's pretend to wash our hands. Here we go. We'll hum the happy birthday song. One more time. Keep washing. Wow, that seemed like a long time, didn't it? You know, the other thing that we are supposed to do is that we're supposed to be keeping some distance between ourselves and other people. It's called social distancing. You've probably heard about it. They're recommending that we stay six feet apart to avoid catching the virus. Let's see what that might look like. 
go ahead and get out your tape measure or your yardstick or ruler and I'm going to pull mine out until I get to six feet. And what we're going to do is you are going to get have everybody either stand or sit. Whoa, it's still going. And there, there's six feet. Whoa, let me back up, see if you can see this. That far away from each other. Everybody in your family, get that far away from each other. And if you don't have anything to measure with, just guess, okay? Wow, you know, the people in the Bible knew all about social distancing. In fact, they were so afraid of catching leprosy that they created laws that forbid people who had leprosy from coming into the city. And if they happened to be around other people, they would have to shout out, unclean, unclean, so that others didn't accidentally come near and touch them. Wow, all those rules, it must have made people that had leprosy feel very lonely. Let's try something right now. Okay, staying six feet apart, I want you to try to reach out and hug the members of your family. Now, no leaning in. Stay six feet apart and reach out. I'm going to reach out to you and try to hug you. Go ahead, try that. Okay, unless you have really long arms, like this camera makes my arms look, you probably couldn't even touch the other people in your family. <sighs> no hugs, no pats on the back. Just you in your own little six foot bubble. Hmm. I have a question for you. How do you think it would feel to have to social distance from each other for years? Go ahead, pause the video, talk about that. It could be pretty lonely not to be able to be close enough to hug anybody for a long time. That's how it was with people with leprosy. They could have leprosy for years, maybe even their whole lives. But let's look and see what happened when Jesus met somebody with leprosy. If you want to follow along with me, I'm going to be reading from Matthew chapter 8, verses 1 through 3. Listen to this. Large crowds had followed Jesus as he came down the mountainside. Suddenly, a man with leprosy approached him. And he knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. Wait a minute. Did you hear that? Did you hear? listen to this again? Jesus reached out and touched him. He touched him. This man probably hadn't been hugged or touched by anyone in a very long time. But Jesus touched this man. Jesus wasn't afraid of leprosy or the coronavirus. He knows that his power is stronger than any disease. Jesus knew that this man not only needed his body to be healed, but he needed his heart to be healed. He needed to feel Jesus' love, a loving touch, either on his arm or shoulder or head. He needed to be healed from that deep loneliness. Now, we need to be wise and protect ourselves right now from, the, from getting sick, right? But being separated from people makes us all feel lonely. Now, pause the video and talk about this. Who do you know that might be feeling lonely right now? And how could you reach out to them? Talk about that. Thanks for sharing. You know, we can reach out to people that are lonely right now. But even when no one else is around, Jesus' power helps us when we're lonely. He is always right there to comfort our hearts and help us to feel better. You know, one way that Jesus' power helps us when, our, when we're lonely is to remind us that Jesus is our friend, 
no matter what's going on right now, you have a friend who's right there next to you, not six feet away. Let's celebrate that. Click on the link below and let's sing, I have a friend in Jesus. People in Jesus' time did not want people with leprosy to be mixing in with everybody else. I have a fun, sciencey, mix it up experiment to help us think about this a little bit more. So it's time to get your water and your oil. And we are going to take the lid off, pour some oil into the bottle or container with the water and do about as much oil as you have water in your container. There. And then put the lid back on securely. You might want to get an adult to just double check. All right. And then um, we're going to shake this up for 10 seconds. You can kind of see that uh, the water and the oil are separate, aren't they? But we're going to try to mix them up. Okay, you ready? Now, um, if you are don't have a container with a lid, you're going to stir for 10 seconds. And I'll count it down for us. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Hmm, that looks pretty mixed up. You know what? Let's let that sit there for a second. And while we're waiting, you're going to pause the video and talk about this with your family. What do you miss most? because you're separated from others right now. For me, one of the things I miss the most is going out to lunch after church with family and friends. Yeah, I miss that. So go ahead and pause and talk about what you miss the most. Hmm, it doesn't look like our oil and water want to stay separated. I don't know if you can see that. I'm sure you can see it in your bottle. Huh. I think they're practicing social distancing. Yep. You know, oil and water naturally want to stay separated, but it's not so natural for us. Being separated from others makes us feel lonely, but we can turn to Jesus because we know his power helps us when we're lonely. Now, even though we are separated a lot from our friends, we, can, we still have our family and we can still connect with other people online or through phone calls. We can still do kids' church together, right? Yeah. Now, if it's healthy for you, go ahead and gather your family together and let's do a big group hug. I'm going to, or if it's not healthy right now for you to hug other people, just do a long distance hug. Okay. And then I want you to out loud thank Jesus for each person in your family by name. Go ahead. You know, focusing on people God, Jesus has put into our lives, even during this hard time, can make us feel less lonely. And that's one of the ways that Jesus's power helps us when we're lonely. So when this video ends, I want you to get out your thankfulness journal and draw a picture of someone that you are thankful that you can connect with right now during this hard time. Put the date on it. And then through the next week, keep adding to your journal, okay? Keep watching for those God sightings. All right. Well, I love you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.